hey foodies, the one thing I think of with being gluten-free is missing out on soda crackers. It's taken me a long time to figure out a recipe to make soda crackers, and these are amazing. They remind me of my childhood soda cracker dreams where I would sit down in front of the TV watching I Love Lucy episodes, and I'd have my little saltines and I'd dip them in my tomato soup. These are those, and I can't wait to share the recipe with you. And it's not that many ingredients. It's Frankie's all-purpose flour, cold butter, yeast, baking soda, hence the name Soda Crackers, room temperature milk, and water. So I'm going to start by putting my all-purpose flour in and my baking soda and I'm going to put in my butter as well and I'm going to whirl this all up so that the butter becomes broken down into small pea-sized shapes. And it doesn't take very long. So while the machine is still running, I'm going to put in my yeast. And then I'm going to pour in the milk and the water. Look at this. It looks great. It's a little bit on the wet side, and that's okay. Is to have some wet. So I'm going to scoop this all out onto a piece of parchment paper. I use parchment paper to keep things from sticking. And this is what the final product is going to be sitting on anyway. Grab some cling film or plastic wrap, and move that over. And you're gonna lightly press this down. And we're gonna roll this out until it fills the whole sheet. And this is a standard cookie sheet. I'm also not really using the handles on the rolling pin because I find that it really crinkles up the parchment paper and causing, causes wrinkles underneath, and it, that drives me crazy. This is the perfect task to get the kids to do because there's a lot of upper body strength. And then you can just sit back and sip your martini as they're rolling out the pastry for you. Okay. I'm just going to cut off the edges, clean it up a bit. Look at that. Okay, so at this point, I want to take my salt and I'm going to lightly sprinkle salt all over the surface. And at this point, you can also sprinkle on fresh, like fresh or dried herbs, whatever you like to make it, make it your own. So I have a machine called a docker. You can use a fork. I'm going to use my docker because I find a docker is really quick. You can see how quick that went. This was, I think it was $10 from a website online. It was really, really affordable, and I love this thing. It's great for um, doing pastries and, and pizzas and all kinds of things, and it, it works really well. And then you want to take your knife or your adjustable scoring device. Again, another one of these fun online things. 
which I love, and you want to cut out cracker size crackers. So I'm going to do that. A little bit wider. And we'll go the other way. And one more. There. Now that I've got it docked and scored, I've got it back in my pan and I'm going to put it in the oven for three minutes. I'm going to turn it, do it for another three minutes. I'm going to check it, make sure it's not overcooked because you got to keep an eye on it. It doesn't take long to bake. And when it's golden brown, you pull it out and they're done. We'll see you in a couple minutes. Look at these crackers. They look amazing. I can't wait to see what they... Oh, it smells so good. I can't wait to see how they taste. So I just put a little piece of cheese on there because I don't have my soup with me. But here we go. Mmm. Mmm. I know exactly what I'm having for snack tonight. It's going to be crackers with cheese, maybe a little jam. It's going to be great. I look forward to reading all of your comments and seeing what you like to do with your crackers. Maybe you like to dunk them into your soup, crunch them up into your soup. Maybe you just like to eat crackers on their own. Let me know and I look forward to seeing you again. So at this point, I'm going to throw this all in the oven and bake it for... I can't remember. <laughs> So at this point, you want to put it in the oven, you want to start that one over again. So I'm going to... Okay, so I'm going to slide that on to the pan. I'm going to put the... Pop, 